Hello guys, this is Virendra Singh and welcome back at Mastercam Milton Tutorials and Toolpath series where we are trying to show you a different kind on different kind of components and different kind of machine all about the Milton step by step. So we are on today exercise number fourth and we are already learning about on this one exercise two videos. In a first video we show you that how we can uh, show you about simulation of that one component on a proper Milton machine and the best part of Milton machine always have a very good simulation so if you not watch this first exercise so first I would like to show you go and watch first video where you will get understanding about the operations sequence and all these things and that's really important when you are trying to practice or when you are learning a new component that we want to do the machining on the Milton and exercise in exercise number two we are show you that how we can make a job setup on that kind of machine and in the exercise number two the special thing that we are covered that is how we can make a job setup when we need to do the part handling with the help of cutoff method for that exercise the parting the part handling that we are do with the help of pick up as well as cutoff both operations we will do at the same time so this is exercise number three and in this video we show you that how we can make a tool path for the left hand spindle with the help of upper stream as well as the lower stream and how it is going to be both of upper and lower stream work together at the same time. So you get understanding about that as well and the most important thing that you will going to be learn in this video that's how we can make the access synchronization or we can also call the toolpath synchronization when we are talking about the Milton so toolpath synchronization is a very important topic that each and every single person must have the knowledge about it so let we have to start and follow step by step that what is the process and how we can create a toolpath so for that one we have to first that we are going to create all the toolpath turning toolpath for that one exercise and the first op option or if we can also call the first operation which we are going to perform for create that one exercise that is known as a face so first we would like to click on a face once we click on a face so as you can see here all the parameters are the same as a previously for the turning operations so if you have don't knowledge of the turning operations first go and learn all the turning tool paths all the milling tool path before learning the mill turn and if you have a good knowledge of turning and milling I would like to suggest each and every single person to learn all about the Milton and it's help you a lot to grow in your career it's help you a lot to increment in your salary and a much more in boost in your career I can also say the Milton module in a master camp is a boost point for your career so must have to learn the Milton things so now let we have to make the options and how we can create a tool path with the help of a facing so as as I told you the previously and also in a simulation the facing operation which I want to create with the help of a lower stream so for that one purpose a new option is available on this one position and that is known as access combination so you have to click on here and always you have to keep these four operation in your mind when you are talking about the Milton the first thing is the upper left what is the meaning of the upper left upper left means you want to make a tool path on a left hand spindle and the stream or a tool area which we are using that is upper area upper area or upper stream both are the same word in a technical we call that stream for the lower one if you want to make a tool path for the left hand spindle but if you want to make a lower stream or a lower, uh, lower side tools so that time we use that one and in the third one option if you want to make a tool path for the upper portion and you want to make a tool path on the right hand spindle so you have to choose this and if you want to make a tool path with the help of lower stream and the right hand spindle so you have to choose this for that one option we have to choose that one lower side of my tooling wheel I am really going to be used the spindle which I am going to perform tool path that is the left side so we have to choose this and just say okay so once I just say okay we have to define the tool define the reference position all the parameters are the same as the previously so all these these are the facing op options this is the rough step over one 
overcut amount one retract value one and just say okay so as you can see here once i say okay 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 so automatically my facing tool is going to be created as you can see here and it's perfect and a very good way once i create a proper way facing tool path after that i would like to show you that how we can create a tool path and that is known as a roughing i have to click on a rough once i click on a rough we have, i have to choose a chain so i have to start this tool path from this position to this and i just say okay so again the same tool path i want to choose from the lower stream so this thing is same i have to defining the reference position that i successfully defined and we have to came in a rough so what is the desktop cut entry amount and use stock from outer boundary and just say okay as you can see my tool path is successfully created but it's not visible what is the reason behind that i just delete this tool path again came to the roughing click on here to here just say okay define the tool and just say okay so as you can see here my tool path is created i have to came in a roughing parameter defining the reference position and after that rough para in rough parameter i have to say create a tool path use stop from outer boundary and just say okay so as you can see there tool path is successfully created in a roughing i would like to add something at here what is the thing that i would like to add on that is known as a extra length i want to make add on so that i have to came in a leading lead out i have to go in a lead out and add the value is total 5 mm and just say okay and okay so what is happening my tool is going to be in extra in z direction extra 5 mm from the last point of chain or i can also make it in place of 5 6 mm and just say okay and in a roughing i would like to also add on the finishing at the same time so i just click on a semi finish operation on so it means finishing will be done successfully in the same time once i successfully do the roughing operation with the help of lower stream now i would like to show you that how we can create a boring tool path with the help of upper stream for that one i have to again click on a rough select the chain from here to here just say okay i have to define a proper tool and the tool is known as right at here 25 mm of boring bar i have to make double click boring bar and the total length is 120 mm and just say okay once i define it i have to came select the reference position just say okay okay and after that i have to select define the rough parameter the desktop cut is 1 entry amount 1 mm and i would like to say use stop for outer boundary and okay once i defining the roughing parameter so after that i have again came in a parameter and lead in lead out and i have to define some extra length for that one the same like as we are doing the for the od and just say okay have a look so that's all the roughing operation successfully we defining right at here once i defining both upper and lower options or operations after that we have to define the one more operation and that that is known as a grooving so for the grooving i would like to create a tool path that is with the help of groove i have to define the chain and i want to create the tool path with the help of lower stream so i define the parameters i have to choose a proper tool of for the grooving so i would like to choose a 4 mm of insert width the reference position that's the perfect i have to define use stop from outer boundary make it smooth and in lead in lead out i would like to make the lead in lead out the position is this in lead out the same like this and just say okay now have a look my roughing face rough od rough id as well as the grooving all the four operations we successfully done the three operation we are done with the help of lower stream and one operation we are successfully done with the help of upper stream now i would like to show you that how we can make all these operations access synchronization and that's a really important for us so for define the access synchronization i have to click on this or select all these operations and just say g1 so once i click on a g1 so that time a new window will open right at here and it will blink like this and if you want to show a machine simulation for that one you have to click on launch 
So once I launch the machine simulation, so after that what is happening? There is one major blunder will happening and accidents will going on. What is the reason behind that? Let we have to understand. As you can see here, we are created the different toolpath with the help of upper stream as well as the lower stream and I just play this toolpath. So what is happening? Now as you can see here, the lower stream and upper stream both start to work together or both start to work at the same time. So as you can see, this is facing is running on here and at the same time from the upper stream my boring bar came on the action. So what is happening? That's going to be accident. You can see it right at here. And that's a major issue and that you have to always keep the control when you are working on a Milton. So I just close this and we have to make the toolpath synchronization. In this window we have to make the toolpath synchronization properly. We have to click expand all. The first operation that we are performing that is facing. Once my facing operation successfully completed. After that I am using the same tool and I do the roughing operations. And one my, once my roughing operation completed. I have to change the tool path from this to this. So once once my OD rough operation complete, I my first after that my ID roughing operation is start to perform. Once my ID roughing operation complete, my grooving operation is start to work. So that's called tool path synchronization. This to this that completed after that this. If we have some more operations, so iske baad kya jayega? So you have to click on this and you can add on like this. So once I successfully once I make the modifications on access access synchronization what is happening your launch option is going to be off the highlight sun. so you have to click on a save and after that you have to click on a launch so once you click on it so it will start to again opening a new machine and now let we have to see how it is going to be work and how it is going to be buffer you have to click play let's see the action so first the left side with the help of lower stream after that rough face after that it's roughing once my roughing option complete and now the thing is going on and that's with the help of upper stream a roughing toolpath is going to be performed have a look I think its boring bar is la uh, larger in size so that's why something uh, critical thing or uh, error was showing so I can reduce the boring bar size that's we are all have in our hand so as you can see here uh, all the operations we are successfully created for that one component so as you can see here uh, this is we are successfully done all the operation on a left hand spindle so I hope you guys get understanding about that how we can create a tool path with the help of upper stream and lower stream at the same time so in the next video we will show you that how we can make the part handling from the left hand spindle to the right hand spindle as well as we will show you that how we can create a tool path for the right hand spindle so thank you so much for watching this one video if you have any question or doubt till this video or any milton or any mastercam doubt you can go and comment us on our comment section we are trying to help you best as we can so see you soon in the next video